Now in the following problem, we're going to deal with tessellations. Use the following tessellation to solve this. In part A, we want to name the types of regular polygons that surround each vertex. Let's do that first. So let's pick a particular vertex, and I'm going to label it here. And we want to name the types of regular polygons that surround that vertex. So we're told that these are regular polygons, meaning that they are equilateral and equiangular. We notice that we have two squares, and we have equilateral triangles. In part B, we're asked to determine the number of angles that come together at each vertex, as well as the measures of these angles. So we notice back where the vertex is labeled, we have one, two, three, four, five different angles. So we're going to have five angles, and we know that we have two of the angles as part of squares, so therefore we're going to have two 90-degree angles. And we have three angles that come together that are part of equilateral triangles, so that's going to be three 60-degree angles. Now, for part C, we're supposed to use the measure angles to explain why the tessellation is possible. And so we're going to use the fact that we have 2 times 90 degrees plus 3 times 60 degrees. That's going to give us 180 degrees plus another 180 degrees which is going to equal 360 degrees, which would be a full revolution. So back on our picture, we're able to see that as we move around, we're going to have 360 degrees, which allows the tessellation to work.